Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show that covers all things marketing. The GSMC Marketing News Podcast gives you the latest marketing news, from what major businesses have planned for the coming year, to the newest trends in advertising, from podcasts, digital and streaming, to the old standbys of radio, television, and billboards. Whether you're a marketing agent or a business trying to expand your brand, you've come to the right place. The GSMC Marketing News Podcast starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and on one of the last episodes, we talked about the fact that these are our last episodes, and going into this next one, I really do want to stress just just how much I do love this podcast network and how much I love the actual podcast itself. I have found this to be truly just such a enriching experience and it has taught me so much about marketing and podcasting and I got to meet you guys and build this community and that has been amazing and incredible. So thank you for everyone who has listened to all 96 episodes. If you are new to the podcast, thank you for joining us. We are happy to have you here. Hopefully you get to learn something. Hopefully you get to create something and hopefully we talk about something on this episode that inspires you. I would also love just as another reminder to just let everyone know that this episode is still being recorded while we're in the middle of the coronavirus and we're all on lockdown. I am recording this in my living room. So if you hear background noises, I do apologize. We're all doing our best to get by here and this is just one of those ways. Sometimes you have to record a podcast in your living room. I recorded one in a hotel this past weekend as well. It is just crazy times out there and something that has been helping me deal with the being at home and just everything that's been going on. And I know I'm not alone here either, so nobody judge me, but something I've been doing is going on TikTok. I know, I know I'm not 17. I have no right to be on TikTok. I think it makes it okay because I'm not making content on TikTok. I am just watching content on TikTok. So I think, I think it makes it okay. I'm sure there's a bunch of Gen Zers, Gen Zers that could come on here and totally correct me out of this um, and be like, nope, you actually just don't belong on the app. But I'd like to disagree with them because I do think that when TikTok started, it was absolutely just for the younger generation. They were enjoying it. They were having fun. But like many things, the younger generation just has fun with and they try to keep it light and simple. Brands and marketing have found their home there as well. And that is what today's episode is really all about. How you can find your home on TikTok because it is possible that you belong on there too. I'm not the only one who's allowed on there. You guys can join in as well. So I've teased this episode a lot in the past. I've been like, maybe we'll do an episode on TikTok. Perhaps we'll do an episode on TikTok. Guys, I'm going to do an episode on TikTok. So that is what we are doing today. Finally, I know you guys have been like tweeting at me like crazy about it, but we are finally doing our episode on TikTok. So if you have been interested in the platform, if you haven't been interested in the platform, perhaps this will persuade you to join. We have a lot of things to cover today. So please get your pen and paper out because we will be jumping right in. The first thing I want to talk about when it comes to TikTok is a few questions I want you guys to ask yourself before joining the platform. So number one, is your audience on TikTok. So here's the thing. Your demographic may be on TikTok, but are they on TikTok looking for your product? So this could go one of two ways. If you sell something that has no place at all on TikTok, will your audience be upset when they see you advertising on there? Will they think it's disrespectful, not on your brand, it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for them that you're on there, and they're not going to interact with your ad at all? Or it could go in the way of it totally matches your brand, your audience will be thrilled and excited to see you participating on the app, and they will be encouraged to participate with you and interact with whatever piece of content you've created. There is a third option, perhaps they didn't expect you to see 
to see you on the app and it is a bit of a surprise but hey some surprises can be good and as long as it genuinely does fit your brand and it fits your overall brand goal then I don't see a problem as to why you can't be on the app promoting your brand and your product but I really need you guys to answer the question of is your audience on TikTok because question number two is do you have time to create separate content for the platform? I have done a lot of episodes, and I do mean a lot, of episodes where we talk about how you can reuse content, about how you can go from making a YouTube video to turning it into a blog, to turning it into a micro blog, to turning it into an infographic. And all of those are completely possible, and it is a great way to reuse content. However, TikTok is not in any of those options. If you are creating something for TikTok, you are creating it for TikTok. You can't then put it on YouTube. You can probably still, if you can get away with it, put it on Instagram, perhaps in your stories or temporarily on your feed, depending on your overall aesthetic. But you can't take a YouTube video and put it on TikTok. You can't put a tweet and put it on TikTok. It truly is a platform that requires, at least for now, its own dedicated content. So do you have the time to create a whole bunch of separate content for that platform? Because if your audience isn't even there, going back to question one, if your audience isn't even there, then why, why on earth would you spend an extra hour a day, if not more, creating all this other content for TikTok? Question number three, what type of content are you going to make? So this ultimately does depend on your actual product. If you are someone who's listening to this podcast because you want to be an influencer and you're like, I could use some marketing skills to go along with that. I know we do have a few listeners who are along that road. Then perhaps you want to do lifestyle TikToks. You want to learn some of those fun dances. You're going to do some comedy. You're going to do some beauty hacks. You're going to do some organizational hacks. You're going to really show your life. Those mini vlogs as well have been huge on the app. But if you're part of the people who listen to this podcast who are not influencers, which there's a lot of you as well, nobody on here, a large percentage of my audience is not influencers. I just happen, a few of you have reached out, so I know that you are. But the rest of you, I need you to ask, okay, I sell coffee. How is my coffee going to work as a TikTok? And now that is a perfect example because there are plenty of options for you to make a coffee TikTok and really utilize your product in the content. However, if you make something, your product and your brand are just something that you have no idea what type of content to make with that. It's not really funny. It's not really serious. You can't turn it into a hack. It is definitely not something you can dance with. Then why are you going to be making that content on TikTok? TikTok has a bunch of different types of content you can create. I would encourage you to go explore all the different worlds of TikTok that there are. But if there isn't one niche enough for your product then you really don't belong on there and guys i want to make this so clear and perhaps i haven't made it clear enough already you do not need to go on tiktok um there are some there are definitely some platforms that i'm like no guys you need to be on there you need to be on facebook that's how you can create ads for facebook and instagram and twitter and youtube but do you need to be on tiktok not right now it is not a mandatory thing that you're on tiktok right this second. This podcast episode is really dedicated to the idea of if you are ready for TikTok, you can answer yes to all of these questions I'm asking you, then please go forth my child and be on TikTok. TikTok away. Question number four, what priority will this platform be for you? So I talk about this a lot when you are creating your marketing strategy and I want you guys to always have a list, a solid list of the four different social media platforms that you are dedicated to posting on. And in that order, I want it to be in order of priority, which one is every single day I am posting on this no matter what. Um, Every other day I'm posting on number two, no matter what. So it's basically a list of priorities and it totally depends on your brand and your marketing strategy and your audience. So I want you to take a look at TikTok in relation to that priority list. Is it going to be more important than your number one, your number two, your number three, or your number four? If you guys can't find a place on that list and you're like, oh no, it's actually priority like 10 or 11, 
then again, I really don't see the purpose of you being on TikTok because as we get into later, there are some tips and tricks of how to use the app properly. One of them is consistency and posting on there a lot. They love a good quantity amount of product over quality on the app. So if you are not ready to put it as a high priority, then you're not ready for the app. And again, I really want to stress, that's okay. You don't need to be ready for TikTok. You don't need to have TikTok. You're totally fine if it is not part of your priorities. But if you truly look at your audience, your product is ready for it. You know what type of content you want to make for your product. And you're like, guys, it's a solid second priority or even a third or hey, a first. Then of course you're ready to go into that app. Number five, what is your goal with TikTok? Do you want to become TikTok famous? Do you want to get people to buy stuff from you off of the app? Do you want to build user engagement? Do you want to find your following? I need you to know what a clear goal is for you to be on that platform before you join it. Otherwise, you won't be able to figure out what priority your platform should be, and you won't find yourself being encouraged enough to actually go on there and post every single day. Multiple times a day is actually what I should say, because as we go back to that, a huge part of TikTok is just frequent posting. Okay, everyone, we are going to go ahead and take a break from the podcast. But when we come back, we will be getting into some tips and tricks on how to use TikTok. So stay tuned for more of the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll be right back. Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast covers everything tech. The hottest mobile phones, tablets, games. We review it, rate it, test it. Whether you're Microsoft or Apple, Android or iPhone, we'll give it to you in black and white. The Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast. And welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and on today's episode, we are talking about the app that has gotten the most amount of my free time, I would say the past couple of months while in quarantine. It is the app that has taught me how to do some facial massages, how to make whipped coffee, and how to do a few dances that I'm not going to lie. I recorded myself doing them, and then I immediately put the phone away because I was like, no, girl, you are too old. You're too old to be doing TikTok dances. Put it away. But yes, I am talking about TikTok. I have teased this episode and this idea relentlessly. We have talked about the potential of doing a TikTok episode for a while now. And here's something I want you guys to know, because I did have quite a few people reach out and like, hey, where's that TikTok episode? You said you only have like four episodes left. We want that TikTok episode. And the truth is, is that I plan these episodes out so far in advance that it becomes a little bit tricky to just slip in new ideas when I have them planned out so far in advance. But I made an exception for this one because I truly think that it could improve your marketing and it could be a new and interesting challenge for you to take on if your marketing is ready for that step. So that is what today's episode is all about. Before we get started, hi, hello, and thank you for coming back. In segment one, we talked about a few different questions you need to be asking yourself before you join the platform. So number one was, is your audience ready to be on TikTok with you? Are they there? Are they waiting? Number two, do you have time to create separate content for the platform? Because again, remember, this is not a platform that you can reuse content for. Number three, what type of content are you going to be creating? 
Number four, what priority will this platform be for you and your marketing strategy? If it doesn't fit into your top three, if it doesn't fit into your top five, then I would really, really like to ask you, what are you doing? Why are you on there? Why do you feel the need to be on there? And finally, number five is what is your goal? And this is a question that I need you to answer. Even if you answered yes to all of those, you're like, my audience is on there. I know what I want to create. I have the time to create it. It is going to be priority number one. I am ready to do this. I still need you to know what your end of the day goal is. Are you like, I'm going to become TikTok famous? Am I hoping to bump up my engagement levels? Am I hoping to create a trend that goes viral? Whatever it may be, I don't care. I won't judge you what it is and don't judge yourself either because it could be something as vain as I want a bunch of followers so that they all go to my website and buy a bunch of my product. Guys, this is marketing. That's all we're trying to do at the end of the day is get people to buy more product. So I just need you, even if it's simple, even if it's complicated, because I've been in that situation before where I'm like, well, the goal is actually very complicated and hard to put into one sentence. Write me a story. Write me an essay as to why, what is your goal. I don't care how long it is. I don't care how short it is. I just need you to know your goal at the end of it. What is your jackpot at the end of this rainbow and that way you know what you are working towards that way you are okay spending the time you're okay shifting around your priorities and you're okay to create all that content because you know what your goal is all right let's jump into segment two where i'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to use the platform the first one i want to talk about is following trends Now, across all marketing platforms, there are trends. There are trends on Instagram. There are trends in billboard ads and commercial ads and websites and blogging and microblogging. And there are trends everywhere. Marketing is built on trends. But TikTok in particular is built on trends. People glum onto trends really just to see how far it'll go. People start trends on TikTok. People follow trends religiously. People put their own spins on trends. It truly is just like a home of everything trendy. So if you're going to be creating content on the platform, I need you to follow those trends and you need to be aware of them. Even if they seem out of your wheelhouse and they're not really going to affect your products, you're like, oh, I don't know what good this is. Still be aware of it. Still be aware of what's happening on the platform itself. Number two, simple hashtags. Guys, with this one, it's, it's the, it's the most simple thing, but it's something we all overcomplicate, especially on TikTok. Just use simple hashtags. So simple. One word hashtags. I know on Instagram, we like to use like three word hashtags or even four word. Also, side note, please tell me no one is ever using like a five word hashtag on Instagram. If you're doing that, cut it out right now. But especially on TikTok, Keep it a one word at most, at maximum, do two words. Do not go like to three words at all on there. Keep it simple, keep them fun, and keep them easy. Which brings me to tip number three. Don't try too hard. And I know this is, this is easier said than done. Like completely, I understand you guys are all like, hey, we know we're trying to be the cool kid, but we don't want to look like we're trying to be the cool kid. And trust me, as someone who has constantly tried to be the cool kid and has never been the cool kid, I understand that someone just being like, don't try too hard, take it easy, don't don't make it complicated, is the worst tip because you're like, oh, that just makes it more complicated because now I'm worried about looking like I'm trying too hard. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, TikTok is so easy And that's why people get popular on there so fast because there's like no effort needed. I saw this one girl doing a video where she was playing two different characters and to show the difference of characters, she put a towel on her head and she didn't even bother to like unfold the towel to make it look like hair like I've seen a few people do. No, she just left it folded and like popped it onto the top of her head and then used a slightly different voice. Guys, TikTok is supposed to be easy. If you find it hard, if you find it challenging and you're struggling with it, then you are doing something wrong. It is supposed to be easy. It is supposed to be fun. So don't try too hard. 
keep it simple and make sure you are having fun with it so that your audience is having fun with it as well. Number four, use the TikTok effects. So I'm sure everyone's aware by now that on Instagram, if you want to have a good post and you want it to look nice, you're not going to use the Instagram provided filters. You're going to use a different app. You're going to spend a few hours editing it and then you're going to post because nobody uses the Instagram filters anymore. But guess what? That's not true on TikTok. Use up all those filters. They have effects and filters and interactive filters and music and themes and templates for you. Use them. Their algorithm loves people who use their own effects. And not to mention the effects are there to truly make your video more engaging. So jump on that bandwagon, girl, and start using those effects because although they may seem silly... Although you may not like the way you look when you do the inverted photo effect, trust me, if you haven't tried it already, you're going to be upset, but just do it once and get it over with. It shows you what your face looks like to other people, and it's terrifying, but try it. You might not like it, but everybody loves watching those videos of people doing it, and I think it's because we all secretly didn't like the way ours looked. So we like seeing other people do it and be like, oh, at least I don't look as bad as them. So use all the TikTok effects. Really take advantage of all the candy they are giving you to play with. And just again, I really want to stress this because it is so important when it comes to the app. Have fun with it. Be creative. Be imaginative. And just honestly have a good time. And if you're having fun, other people will have fun with your content as well. Number five, post often. So when we get into segment three here, one of the tips is consistency. Because consistency is still important. But it's different how it works on TikTok. Because in any other scenario, I would tell you, post once a day at the same time every day and you will start to see results. But you only really need to do it once. If you do it twice, make sure you're doing it at the same time. That's not true with TikTok, honey. Get rid of that idea. It's not true. It's not working. What you need to do is post like five videos in one hour and then come back at midnight and post like five more videos. People like having content to watch from you all the time. They constantly want to be entertained, which is why, and I hate saying this, especially in marketing, know that I am cringing on the inside here when I say this, folks. But when it comes to TikTok, it's quantity over quality. The more you post, the more popular you will be. And that's just the truth. So yes, we'll talk about consistency and what that means when we come back from our break here. But what I want you to do is post often and as much as you can. Okay, everyone, as promised, we're going to go ahead and give your minds a little bit of a break. But when we come back, we have some more tips and tricks for you. So stay tuned for more of the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll be right back. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Chaquish, and first off, let me just say it, let me just say it loud, let me just say it proud, thank you for joining today's episode. Honestly, this podcast for me, and I hope that it's true for everyone else listening who has listened to us for a long time, or maybe you're a new listener, welcome. I hope this podcast has helped you achieve your marketing goals. And I know in the grand scheme of things of life and knowing who you are in the world, it doesn't seem nearly as important as the, like your whole career at large. But I understand that feeling of being stuck and being like, oh, what is this marketing campaign going to look like? I'm out of creative ideas. Where can I turn? Who can I talk to? What can I do that is really, truly going to improve my marketing? And all I can say is that I hope this podcast has been that for someone, that it's been that for you and that it truly has helped you figure out your marketing, figuring out your marketing style, inspiring you and pushing you to do new things with your marketing. That is truly what I hope. So just from the bottom of my heart, thank you for listening. This has been an amazing experience for me and it's not the end. We have more episodes to come, but it is the 96 episode. So we're coming close to the end of the 100 here. And I just wanted to say at the top, I'm trying to say it all the time, just so everyone truly understands how grateful I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. And I truly just love this podcast. I love this podcast network. And hey, if this is the first podcast you've heard from the network, welcome to the GSMC Podcast Network. We have podcasts on literally everything. That is not me being dramatic by any means, but it is just the truth. Are you interested in beauty? Are you interested in sex? Are you interested in tech or business or sports or wrestling or hair or books or lifestyle? If you said yes to any of those, then guess what, sweetheart? We have the podcast for you. That was me winking, by the way. That was that noise. I was trying to articulate that over a podcast. Oh, gosh. Maybe I have not learned as much as I thought I have over the past 96 episodes if I just tried to wink at you guys through a microphone. (laughs) Anyways, to get back to the point of today's episode, we are talking about the app that, again, I always want to introduce it like this because it is the truth. It is the biggest waste of time in my entire life right now. I honestly, I found myself watching it before bed, which, honey, I know it's a bad idea. I should not be doing that. But gosh, is it ever addicting? Which is why it truly made me think that we do need to talk about it on the episode because we like talking about addicting things. And if someone's addicted to it and you're able to reach them through that platform, they may just become addicted to your product or perhaps you'll get a new customer along the way or re-engage with an old customer. So if you are able to, at the top of the podcast, we asked you five different questions. And if you, for some reason, only decided to listen to the last 10 minutes of this podcast, then I would suggest going back and listening to the first because those five questions are your foundation for TikTok. If you can't tell me what your goal is, what your priority is, what type of content you're going to make, if you have time to create content, and if your audience is on the platform, if you can't give me any of that information then what are you doing on there? It's not meant for you. And I really want to stress this, guys, because although we teased this episode a lot, we talked about TikTok a lot over the past 96 episodes, and I kept like leading up to this big episode, I want to stress the idea that you do not have to be here. This is not mandatory. There are social media platforms that are mandatory. And hey, maybe one day I'll be like rehosting this podcast and I'll be like, hey guys, guess what? Totally mandatory to be on TikTok now. Sign yourself up. But right now, as it stands, if your product and your brand and you don't feel like you fit on TikTok, then you're not going to find success there. 
Then we moved on to our first five tips and tricks on how to become successful on the app and how you can utilize the app for your marketing. I want you to, number one, follow trends. Number two, use simple hashtags. And number three, don't try too hard. Number four, use those TikTok effects. And number five, post often truly the heart of all of this. I'm going to get into some more tips and tricks for you guys right away here, but truly the heart of this is if I can tell you anything, if I can teach you anything about TikTok is to have fun. If you're not having fun, if you're stressed out, if it is not working for you, then just leave. It's not mandatory and you're just going to make things harder on yourself and you're possibly going to attract people further away from yours platform because you're trying too hard and they're not into it. So they're like, oh, I'm probably not going to shop from them anymore. They got some cringy stuff on TikTok. So if you're not having fun, get off. But if you find yourself having fun and finding success and even if it's slow success, then keep going. Just make sure you're having fun and you're not overcomplicating it. Okay, everyone. So let's get back into our tips and tricks with number six, consistency. So I talked about consistency a little bit before the break and it's basically there's a fine line of like a a hair of a difference between the type of consistency I want you to do on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter versus TikTok. Because on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, I want you guys to be posting at the same time every day, the same amount every day, and just keeping up with a consistent rhythm. Whereas on TikTok, it's a little bit more sporadic and it's a little bit crazier and it's a little bit more whenever you have content, post it all at once. But you still need to be consistent. You can't post 10 videos and then disappear for a month. Every single day, you need to be posting on TikTok, possibly more than once. And that's the thing, guys. That's the key. That's the heart of all of this. That is a lot of content to create. That is why I'm telling you guys that if you don't have the time, if you don't have the resources to do this properly, then don't do it because you need to post often and you need to post a lot and you need to be consistent with that. So you can post three videos on one day and then one the next day, but then you need to post like seven the day after that. And it's there's not an exact science, but basically post a lot, do the quantity over quality, and just keep going. Number seven, branded content. So no matter what, no matter what, I want you guys to have your brand represented on TikTok. I don't want you to look at all the trends on TikTok, see how people are doing it, see how people are having fun with it, and totally drop your brand off at the front door and then just go like wild on the TikTok app and it is nothing like your brand. People are confused when they see it and you're like, well, this has nothing to do with my brand, but it has our brand name on it. So hopefully people will catch on. No, you still need to have branded content on there. You don't need to go as like crazy as you would if you're putting up a billboard in Times Square and you want to make sure your logo's everywhere, but make sure it still represents your, represents your brand and it's still your brand coloring, your brand theme. You put the logo in the middle if you want or in the bottom right. Whatever you want to do, just make sure the content still actively represents your brand. Number eight, add your own spin to trends. So trends, like I said earlier, it was tip tip number one. They truly are the heart of TikTok. They are the thing that keeps them moving is new trends, people jumping on new trends. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone who listens to this podcast is going to be able to start their own trend um, because that's pretty hard to do. It's pretty hard to do if you're a new person coming on to it. But if you see a trend and you see a way that you can make it your own and include more of your product and use some of your branded content, then go ahead and do that. In fact, I strongly, strongly encourage you to do that because it will drag people in to your TikTok and be like, oh, I want to try this new spin on that trend. Number nine, cross promote. So although you can't take your TikTok content and put it on Facebook and Twitter, or at least you can just, it won't do as well. I'm guaranteeing it right now. You can put it on there to be like, hey, 
I have a TikTok. Come follow me on TikTok. And on your TikTok, you can be like, hey, guys, if you want to see more content, I have a YouTube channel. I have an Instagram. We have a website. Always, always, always cross channel promote. It is so important. I can't stress it enough. It is how you let your entire audience know where you are and where you are putting your energy. Number 10, share and encourage user-generated content. So user-generated content, we've used that term a lot on this podcast. Basically, it's when you encourage your audience to create content for you to use. And a great way to do this is to put your own spin on trends and then encourage your audience to do the trend with you. And maybe you do it in the form of a giveaway. Maybe you do it just by saying, hey, show me what you got. But really try to encourage your audience to participate with you on the app. That way they feel like it isn't such a formal thing and it can be a little bit more fun and a little bit more laid back. Okay, everyone, that is it for tonight's episode of the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll see you next time. You've been listening to the GSMC Marketing News Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcasts on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to any podcast app, and you'll find all of the shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From movies to music, from sports to entertainment, from business news to weird news, you'll find it all on the GSMC Podcast Network. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's program.